well-known Democratic donor and activist Ed Buck arrested again after another man overdoses at his Hollywood apartment. Buck was already the center of protests following the deaths of two men who previously overdosed inside his home. Jonathan Hunt is live in Los Angeles with what we are learning. Jonathan. Good morning, Sandra. These charges relate only to a September 11th incident in which Ed Buck, according to prosecutors, injected a 37-year-old man with meth and was operating a drug den, those prosecutors say. Buck was arrested at his home last night. In this case, his alleged victim, a 37-year-old man, survived. But Buck has previously been investigated, although never charged, over two separate incidents in which two men died in his West Hollywood apartment, both overdosed on meth. One of those, Jamel Moore, died in 2017, having written in a journal about his drug addiction, the final entry saying, quote, if it didn't hurt so bad, I'd kill myself, but I'll let Ed Buck do it for now. After this latest incident last week apparently offered new evidence, L.A. County District Attorney Jackie Lacey said she decided to act, saying in a statement, quote, I remain deeply concerned for the safety of people whose life circumstances may make them more vulnerable to criminal predators. And prosecutors laid out their case in court papers, writing, quote, from his home in a position of power, Buck manipulates his victims into participating in his sexual fetishes. These fetishes include supplying and personally administering dangerously large doses of narcotics to his victims. Now, Ed Buck is a longtime activist and donor to Democrats and has given more than $116,000 to Democratic candidates over the last 10 years, according to the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, his biggest single donation recently being $15,000 to the DCCC in 2016. He will, as you mentioned, be arraigned later today with prosecutors recommending bail be set at $4 million.